Today, we delve into the Chinese Academy of Sciences Institute of Geochemistry's remarkable achievement, the release of the first high-definition geologic atlas of the Moon. This atlas provides an unparalleled view of the Moon's surface, revealing its complex geology with unprecedented clarity. From understanding lunar history to planning future missions, this atlas is set to revolutionize our approach to lunar exploration. In this video, we will explore how the atlas was created, its major components, the vital role it plays in current lunar science, and its potential to shape future explorations and international collaborations in space. China's first high-definition geologic atlas of the Moon presents the most detailed view of the Moon's geology to date, mapped at an unprecedented scale of 1 to 2.5 million. This extensive atlas encompasses the geologic map, lithologic map, and tectonic map of the Moon, each serving a unique purpose in lunar science. This geologic map provides a comprehensive depiction of the Moon's surface features, categorizing areas by age and type of geological formations. It reveals the distribution of mare basalt fields, highland crusts, and regions impacted by ancient and recent meteorite impacts, offering insights into the Moon's dynamic history. This helps scientists trace the Moon's surface alterations through time, from its formation billions of years ago to the present. Next, the lithologic map of the Moon delves into the types of rocks and soils that compose the lunar surface. This map details the various minerals and their compositions across different lunar regions, crucial for understanding the Moon's internal composition and the processes that have shaped its surface. Identifying areas rich in specific minerals, such as ilmenite or anorthosite, serves as a guide for future missions aimed at extracting these resources for scientific analysis and potential in situ resource utilization. Moving to the tectonic map of the Moon, which illustrates the structural features of the lunar surface, including fault lines, rift valleys, and tectonic boundaries. This map is key to understanding the Moon's seismic activity and crustal dynamics, providing data on how internal forces have shaped the lunar landscape over millions of years. It helps scientists hypothesize the Moon's tectonic evolution and predict potential seismic hazards, which are critical considerations for the placement and construction of future lunar bases. The development of these maps began in 2012 and involved a sophisticated integration of data from China's Chang'e lunar missions, as well as international sources. These missions, named after the Chinese moon goddess, have been pivotal in gathering a wealth of data through orbiters, landers, and rovers. Each mission has contributed unique data sets that have enhanced the resolution and accuracy of the atlas, ensuring it provides a detailed and current representation of the moon's surface. The effort to replace the outdated lunar maps from the Apollo era has resulted in a modern atlas that offers far superior detail and insights. These updated maps cater to the needs of current and future lunar exploration by providing precise information on potential landing sites resources, and areas of scientific interest. The Atlas's comprehensive geological data provides an indispensable resource for lunar scientists and engineers, enabling them to push forward the frontiers of lunar exploration. In scientific research, the Atlas has become a cornerstone for developing new theories about the Moon's formation and evolution. By offering detailed insights into the lunar surface's composition and structure, it allows scientists to formulate and test hypotheses regarding volcanic activity, impact history, and tectonic movements. For instance, regions identified with unusual mineral compositions suggest past volcanic activity that may have altered the local environment significantly. These areas become prime targets for missions that aim to understand the Moon's volcanic history and assess its implications for lunar geology. For mission planning, the Atlas is invaluable in identifying optimal landing sites that balance scientific value with safety. Detailed topographical data helps mission planners avoid hazardous terrain while targeting regions likely to yield high scientific returns. The South Pole Aitken Basin, highlighted in the Atlas for its unique geological characteristics, is one such region that has garnered interest for future missions. 
This basin is believed to expose some of the moon's oldest crustal materials, offering a window into the early lunar history and providing critical data for understanding the moon's development. Furthermore, the atlas enhances the teaching of planetary sciences. It serves as a definitive educational tool in classrooms worldwide, where it is used to teach students about lunar geography, geology, and the processes that have shaped our celestial neighbor. The Atlas also plays a crucial role in the strategic planning of future lunar bases, particularly in selecting sites that could support long-term human habitation. For instance, understanding the distribution of resources like water ice, crucial for life support, and as a component in the manufacture of rocket fuel, is significantly enhanced by the Atlas. This information is vital for planning sustainable lunar operations that minimize Earth's dependency. As we look to the future, the atlas of detailed geological data underpins strategic decisions for projects like the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS. This multinational endeavor aims to establish a permanent scientific outpost on the moon, and the atlas is crucial in selecting a viable site. The detailed maps are particularly vital for assessing the lunar south pole, a region favored for its unique geological features and potential water ice reserves, which are essential for both life support systems and as a component for rocket fuel production. The Atlas also enhances our capacity for sustainable base construction on the Moon. By providing detailed information on the lunar surface's mineralogical composition, it allows for the development of in situ resource utilization, ISRU technologies. These technologies are crucial for reducing dependency on Earth, lowering the costs of lunar habitation, and potentially enabling long-term human presence on the moon. For example, knowing where high concentrations of iron or titanium are found could direct mining efforts that support construction and manufacturing on the moon. Furthermore, the Atlas serves as a shared scientific basis that can unite these diverse efforts toward shared goals. This collaborative framework is essential for advancing lunar exploration in an era where international partnerships are increasingly pivotal. Moreover, the Atlas sets the stage for more ambitious sample return missions. By offering detailed maps, mission planners can target specific geological contexts that are most likely to yield valuable scientific data. This precision targeting is crucial for missions aimed at collecting samples from regions that can provide insights into the Moon's early crustal development or its more recent volcanic activity. Finally, the continuous updating of the Atlas with new data from successive missions not only refines our understanding of the Moon, but also propels technological advancements. This ongoing refinement process encourages innovation in space technology, supporting broader objectives of interplanetary exploration and technological innovation. In conclusion, the Lunar Geologic Atlas stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the collaborative spirit of the global scientific community. It not only enhances our understanding of the Moon, but also sets the stage for the future of interplanetary travel and discovery, paving the way for new frontiers in space exploration. Thank you for joining us on this journey. This atlas isn't just a map. It's a bridge to the future of lunar exploration and a testament to the international effort to understand our closest celestial neighbor. Stay curious, keep exploring, and who knows what secrets we'll uncover next.